Hey, everybody in here. Got my coffee over there, sitting out here. It's a little chilly this morning. I'm watching the baby chicks. I actually had hot coffee this morning. I did because it was like, it wasn't even 60 degrees. And the baby chicks did just fine. They're doing great. So today I'm going to work on the rooster coop. Yes, I am. I've got to pull together some supplies and I don't know if I have everything I need to, uh, you know, get it all together today, but I'm going to at least try. And I'm, I'm sitting here looking over at that paltry green bean plant over there. Yeah, here, let me show you. Look at this poor green bean plant. Yeah, I think it's about time to, oh, I don't know. There's a couple more green beans on it. Yeah, there's one over there too. It's about seen. It's last days if you know what i mean but look at this look at this cucumber plant oh my gosh it would be cool if i had some cucumbers to make some more cowboy can what look at that oh my gosh i didn't even know that was there look at there's another one over there oh my gosh okay yeah that's gonna be a good cucumber i like to put cucumbers in my cowboy candy and i'm pretty sure I have a bunch of, I'm just looking here to see if I've got any more. Uh, yeah, there's one that's not, no good. Let me get rid of that. I don't think there's any more. I'll have to go outside the fence and see. But I think I got enough cucumbers, uh, not cucumbers, but jalapeno peppers to make another batch of, oh, look it. There's another one. Oh. I didn't even know. There's another one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick these. They've been on the vine for, I don't know, a month and they're not getting any bigger. Yeah, they don't get much bigger than that. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like I have a few cucumbers, which I can put in my cowboy candy. Look it. I found another one. And another one. First thing I got to do is completely take this all apart. It's kind of <laughs> taken apart already. Uh, I got to adjust these things down here. I think I need to put the more substantial cinder blocks on this side and the bricks on this side because this is slightly lower and I want it all to be nice and level. So I don't know how much of this I can get done today, but I'm going to do my best. I have changed my mind yet again. I've changed the little positioning of the floor. Those are going to be, instead of doing them long ways this way, I'm making them long ways this way. So this is a little bit fatter. So I can put the roosting bar, I don't know, a couple across the back there. So they'll have a, a longer place to roost. Um, I didn't put the logs up underneath of it because I just wanted to be able to figure this out. And so it's higher in the back. It's gonna come out this way and the door is gonna be cut out of that. So now, before I start putting stuff together, I need to figure out what I'm gonna to use to enclose this because not only chicken wire, um, but there's there needs to be something that encloses this you know, uh, you know, the little slots in between and in the back there because they need to be able to stay out of the elements, you know, draft free. So, hmm, I need to figure that out. I could pull some of the boards off of some of them, but I don't know how well they'd hold up after I did this because these are kind of old. So, hmm, let me just figure this out. Look at UPS guy just came. I think I know what's in that, and I think it's the chicken scratch that Grandma Annette got for me. I was not expecting this, so I'm going to open these up and find out what they are. Oh my gosh, another one of these tarps. This could not have come on a better day. And these were both on my wish list. This 
is for my wood burning stove. It's the little liner tape that you put around the inside of the door. Um, I needed more of this and look at, look at, I got some. And there is a note. It says, enjoy your gift from Sarah, Sarah K. Thank you so much, Sarah. This could not have come at a better time. Perfect timing, especially the tarp. And I'm getting ready to service the wood burning stove. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And yep, this is the chicken scratch that Grandma Nett got for me. Look at that. Ultimate chicken scratch, Mana Pro. I am definitely going to give these chickens some of this right now. There you go, babies. They love it. They love it. They haven't had scratch in such a long time. They say thank you, Grandma. And Mama's pen gets some too. They also say thank you. They love it, love it, love it. Here you go, Bard Rocks. I know you're going to love this too. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to throw a couple more handfuls in there. There you go, babies. Enjoy. And I am going to give a little bit to the baby chicks. Not the big sunflower seeds, just the smaller seeds. Yes, they do get grit. Look at that. They're going to go crazy. Just a little bit. They also say, thank you, Grandma Net. I got the floor covered. It's not covered very good, but it's covered good enough for now. Eventually, I'd like to get one whole piece of plywood and put it over that. And I can do it in the future, but for now, this is what I'm doing. I've got a couple pieces cut and put in, and I couldn't just put a whole thing in because sometimes the wood kind of shifts positions, so I'd have to cut it in certain places. Um, it doesn't fill the hole completely, but that's okay. Uh, this here, <laughs> uh, I think it's harder wood. And I'm going to have to get something to pre drill the holes. And I am tuckered out because I have been moving these pallets around all day. So I think that I'm going to call this here. And I may end up changing my mind and just putting that over all of it. I don't know. I'm just going to have to think about it. I know that I have some chicken wire on the way. So, hmm. Before I finish up with all this, I am going to think about it and just decide if I just want to put chicken wire and then this on it, or if I want to use wood and just fill in the slots. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards wrapping it with chicken wire that would be safest and then covering it with a tarp. Um, I'll need to make some adjustments to the roof to make it firmer on top so it doesn't just collapse in, you know what I mean? So, hmm gonna have to think about that anyway uh enough blabbering for me for today that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video it's my boy say bye papa <laughs>for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one